Hi, dear friends. Hope you are well. And today we will discuss two difficult chair questions. And I think that it will be useful for you all. So let's go. Um, if you can pay attention, um, the first question consists of three gaps, one, two, three. And for the first gap, you need to choose from ABC, for the second from DEF, and for the third from G, H, and I. Let me make it a full screen for you to see this. Okay. Um, okay. So uh, let's read the question itself, uh, the stem of the question. Both the kingdoms, poets, and prince tended to speak uh, of the stone plate mountain range. So here you can see um, something like, uh, let's say, the beginning of the sentence. And we can see that the sentence is complex. And here, while can be observed, so it means that there are two opposite sides of the question. Um, and so, uh, as something, so they can, they could speak as something about this mountain range uh, that did something to its inhabitants. But we can't understand what they did until we read the second part of the sentence. Uh, while Easter, the Eastern tribes who were known for their reckless belligerence. So reckless is something negative, um, like careless. Belligerence is like a hostile relationship towards something. That's why we need to expect something positive for one and two. Encumbrance is like burden. We know the word encumber and so on. It's negative. Uh, Oka is something that um, forebodes or bodes something. So predict that something will happen. It's illogical. But we know boom. Uh, this is the synonym of benefit, positive, something positive. And uh, we can even understand from its root. B, starting words starting with B, bow, when are good. So uh, B uh, is appropriate here. So it's, if it says boon, uh, it cannot jeopardize because we know that uh, jeopardize or risk jeopardize as a verb also means to, uh, let's say, to create risks. Stymie is also uh, not suitable here. You'll ask why, uh, if you probably you don't know the meaning of this word, but stami generally means uh, in jar context, especially something that is um, preventing other things, like foiling, preventing, uh, making someone, creating some obstacles. Uh, and the only positive word here is safeguard, because we need to see, uh, we need to understand that one and two are linked. That's why boon and safeguarded are more logical. For the third gap, we need to be careful. Uh, so we can see that these Eastern tribes, uh, they were belligerent, uh, belligerent and they considered to be something that even the most savage barriers to, uh, wouldn't dare to cross. So they were afraid. Vulnerability is illogical because they are not influenced by something or easily broken. That's what G is illogical. Uh, H means peak, uh, the peak point, illogical. And uh, juggernaut, uh, this is uh, one of them. Uh, it means that it's, it's, this is a strong thing, something strong, strong organization, uh, something powerful that cannot be beaten. That's why I is more logical. And even if you don't know uh, I, uh, by excluding G and H, you can find the correct answer. Uh, let's pay attention to the second question. Here uh, we can see, one second. Mm -hmm. Here we can see uh, the sentence about, uh, so one clear sentence without contrast. Uh, the expectation of instant gratification. So you can't know the word gratification, but it seems to be something positive um, because uh, gratitude grateful, grat, uh, th this root refers to something good, kind, engendered by the ease of speed uh, of modern communication can set one up for something in personal relationships that rely on text, email or text, especially if they are not returned immediately. So, uh, set one up for, you may not know this, uh, it's like, uh, let's say, means like replace come 
uh, come with and something like this. But even if you don't know this, it's okay. Uh, you can pay attention to this part, especially if they are not returned immediately. So something happens in personal relationships, uh, even if uh, it's not turned, uh, not returned immediately. Remember that when we have uh, one gap and six options, we need to choose two of them. That's why, uh, and that's why we need to be careful with this. And remember that we need to choose synonyms. Uh, if we pay attention, chagrin. For example, if you don't know the word chagrin, you can understand the word uh, endearment uh, or endearment um, recompense. Uh, endearment is something good. It's not logical here. Recompense is compensation, but it has no synonyms here uh, because recompense, uh, recop, something like this should be, it can be easily, let's say, it can easily have synonyms, but recompense is not something bad. It means that uh, you, you are actually getting this money uh, or something as a refund or compensation for something that you lost. Vexation, you don't know. Elation, elate uh, means to feel surprised, uh, happy and surprised. Like pacifism, I think you know this, but you don't need even further clarification for this word. Uh, we have the word chagrin and vexation. Actually, they are advanced general words, and both of them mean to be annoyed uh, or disappointed, uh, to be vexed at, and to feel chagrin. Uh, uh, this verse mean, uh, let's say, be annoyed. And really, we can see that annoying, being annoyed, being disappointed is something that is suitable for this gap. Uh, I hope that I could help you with these two questions and the key strategies have been understood. Thank you very much for watching this.